pretty babies it's a girl Lexi and I'm back I'm back with another video so today I decided to do a Q&A and I decided to do this because it's been a long time no see and I want y'all to get to know me for who I am and throughout this video I'm gonna try to be as transparent as possible no lying over here so let's get straight into it okay y'all so i'm gonna be looking down at the questions over here to my left so if y'all are like why are you looking down there that's why and what about it okay so my first question is what is your favorite part of doing youtube so far so personally uh, so far, I think I just like being able to like show who I am as a person because I feel like a lot of people assume um, based off my appearance or the way I carry myself, a lot of people think that I'm mean or like they just, they always say that you got a mean face, like no, you don't even look approachable and it's like, that's cool. I don't know how to change that. So YouTube, um is another way for me to like branch out and really show who I am and be able to connect with people and it's honestly just fun for me like I just really like doing this so hopefully it goes well all right so next what is your goal with becoming an influencer by next year that's a really good question I'm not gonna lie to you I have not been thinking about that because I've been so busy um, next year is not even on my head because I'm always focused on the present. Yes, of course, you always want to focus on the future and how you're going to better yourself for then. But at the end of the day, we're living and we're learning as we go. And it's like a go with the flow process. So hopefully, you know, my subscribers will be up maybe at 1K. I don't know. Hopefully I do something good with this platform and this channel because I really want to do something. I really want to be doing something great with YouTube. So hopefully, you know, this goes well. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping for next year. Okay, let me see. Okay, she was trolling y'all. So don't be like, mm, that's not true. You're not even cute. I don't care if you think I'm cute or not. It's the question. So she said, how does it feel to be the baddest bitch in Dina? Now y'all don't know. We out here in Pasadena, California, you feel me? So, you know. <laughs> uh, that was ugly. But, no, nah, um, I don't feel like I'm the baddest bitch, you know. But, like, you know, if that's what she think, no, nah, I'm going to just take that and run with it, bitch. So, but thank you. Mwah, love you. Okay. And then this other question, she said, how often do you get questions about your ethnicity? So, this question, these type of questions about my ethnicity are so constant and they're continuous throughout me growing up all the time. Everybody's always asking me, what are you? Because it's really hard to tell, I feel like, because, okay, so you could tell, sometimes people could tell I have the little Asian eyes, but then they're still kind of big, but they're not like, as small as most Asian eyes would be, right? So then they're like, wait, but sis got curly hair. So then they put two and two together, and then they look at my skin. And I'm not saying I got a whole lot of melanin in me. Um, I'm just saying, I'm just not as, I'm, I'm pretty like light, but I'm not as pale. You know what I'm saying? I think y'all know what I'm saying. My complexion can pass for a lot of things along with my hair and my face. So... Um, I always get like, oh my god, are you like Puerto Rican? Are you Mexican and black? Are you white and black? Are you this? Are you that? It's like a lot, you know? So I get the, like, I get the ethnicity question a lot. And I actually don't mind educating people on my ethnicity. Uh, I am Cambodian, Vietnamese, Chinese, and Mexican. So for y'all who don't know, the curly hair, um, my mom has like wavy hair and my dad has curly hair. So I came my life boot and I'm a bad bitch. And what about it? So, all right. So the next question, um, okay. These, some of these are pretty deep, like the ones that this person asked. And I really appreciate that because I want to kind of go more into depth with these questions and answering them. So she said, when do you know it's a good time to walk away? So I assume she's talking about a relationship and I think, you know it's a good time when every day it's a new argument 
or every day is something new. Like every day there's something wrong with y'all connection or something wrong with what your person is doing. And that doesn't necessarily mean walk away, but you have to think it's constant. It's constant every day, like battle with this person, manipulation, or you feel like when y'all are arguing, it's y'all against each other, not against the problem. And that's not what we do over here. You're not supposed to do that. It's supposed to be level-headed. Y'all supposed to balance each other out. And if every day y'all are just mad, upset with each other and really irritable with each other, like that's toxic. And I guess it's a lot. Cause sometimes people are like, but arguing is not an excuse to leave. And that's true because every relationship goes through their ups and downs. But when every day, it's something wrong with y'all and y'all not really like connecting the way y'all was in the beginning that's wraps and also i feel like um from my past experiences when a guy personally because obviously i have dated other guys before and i'm just talking about from my experience so i noticed too a good time to walk away which i should have learned from this i never learned from my advice girl like, I should have passed Lexi. You're a fucking dumb bitch. But anyways, um, if he's like, you could tell when it's time when they start acting very rude or just they don't really make time for you. You are not their priority. Start hanging out with other people more, getting into the wrong crowd, which then influences them into being kind of rude to you. And that's not okay. You should never settle for that. And I should have told myself that in the past. But I'm an idiot. And it is what it is. You live and you learn. Um, but truthfully, yeah. Like, you can just start seeing they're, like, distancing themselves for you in an unintentional way. Because that's just naturally what's going to happen when things are not meant to be. And, yeah. So, that's when it's a good time to walk away. Okay. So, then. Um advice on confidence okay so i had a lot of like difficulties you know just trying to work my confidence up oh i'm sorry if y'all can hear it because there's like an airplane flying over or something okay but anyways as i was saying um i've had difficulties in my fair share with battles trying to be confident over the past years and it wasn't until maybe last year or the year before that where i started really loving myself and really being like, wow, I am that bitch. And it can come off as kind of cocky. But you can't flaunt yourself to the point where you're like, like, being cocky is like, oh, I'm that bitch and nobody is as bad as me. Or nobody is badder than me. Like, that's kind of weird. Like, you need to step back when you're getting to that point. But by trying to gain your confidence you really have to stop like it's so hard because we're human beings and this is just how we are this is what we're gonna do we overthink <clears throat> oh child we <laughs> we overthink and we tend to compare ourselves with the other people around us for instance like not everybody in my city is finna look like me not everybody in my city is finna look like each other like we're not each other like, we have to break that stigma about, like, like comparing each other. Like, ooh, she's she got a pretty face, but her body sucks. Like, so that makes me prettier than her. Like, girl, you sound dumb. That doesn't even make sense. You know why? Because you're ugly when you start to belittle people. That's not confidence. So what you have to do, stop comparing yourself to other people truly look at yourself in the mirror when you think of something about yourself because i used to do this i used to like think damn if i go to school and i'm wearing this what are they gonna think about me like i'm not as thick as the other girls i'm not like this i'm not that but then i look at myself and i'd be like bitch you're dumb who cares what they think it doesn't matter you know why because bitch you're still here and that's all that matters so I'm sorry if that wasn't the best advice, but that's all I know. Like, you really have to stop comparing yourself. One. Two, stop caring about what other people think about you. And stop trying to fit the stereotype that this society, like, subjects us to. Like, I'm sorry, but not everybody's going to be thick. Not everybody's going to be skinny in the waist or whatever. 
Like, you know, we all have our insecurities and that that's okay. You can work around that and still make sure you feel confident. So, yeah. Also, dress for you. Do not dress to impress. Dress for you. So, if you want to look cute, boo, look cute. Walking in school, you know, gain your confidence. Do what you got to do. So, anyways, um, what do you like most about yourself? I like um, that I'm very loyal. So... It's not just relationship. Loyalty goes a long way. And I think that's the most common misconception with loyalty. Because I can have a friend call me and we may not even have talked in a while. And if they call me and they're like, girl, can I sleep at your house? Like, I'm having a really hard time and I need, I just need to vent. I am so here. I'll give you a ride if you need one. Like, I will do whatever. I will go to hell and back for my friends, for anybody in my circle. And a lot of people can't say that. A lot of y'all probably think you do. But when I'm talking about loyalty, I'm talking about going the extra mile, like, type loyalty. You know what I'm saying? Okay, y'all. So, somebody called me and now fucked up my whole recording session. But anyways, like I was saying, I'm really a down-ass friend or companion to my partner right now like my boyfriend to my brother to my family like if you need something if you need advice like I am here like when I say I'm here I mean that like it's not even like yeah like I'm here and then I'm like okay just keep your head up no I hate people like not hate but like I don't like when people are like yeah I'm here for you and then you vent to them and they're like okay like you're gonna be okay like Suzanne, how is that helping me? It's not. I know I'm finna be okay, but like you need to either be here, listen to me, and give me the best advice you can, or don't be here for me at all. Or I hate when people are there, like say they're there for you, and then they just want to know what's wrong, and they don't help you at all. So, like I was saying, my favorite thing about myself is my loyalty. Like I will go to hell and back for the people in my circle and the people that I love. Okay. Next... What is something you want to improve on in your life? So, hold on. Oh, yeah. So, something I really want to improve on is probably being, like, able to conversate with people, like, easy. Like, because my thing is, like, I naturally just go off of energy. And people take that the wrong way. Because if you're quiet, I'm going to be shy. And I'm going to be quiet, too. Or if you're hella loud and you're like, hey, even if we just met if you're like hey Lexi like oh my god it's so good to finally meet you I'll be like girl for real like and then from there I'll catch the energy and it's easy to vibe you feel me but if you're very standoffish like I can't I can't do it because I I try to start conversations but sometimes it just doesn't work out because we don't have common interests and that's okay and it is what it is so that's something I want to improve on so yeah um what hair product do you use for your long hair? Okay, so I love getting hair questions because um, I really don't do that much. But um, so I'm going to try to insert a couple of pictures on the screen, probably right here, and show some of the products. So first off, I use like the Argan Oil Morocco um, conditioner and the shampoo, if not the the um coconut one is like it's in a white bottle with the shampoo and i rarely shampoo so i shampoo maybe once a week um and i condition and i don't even wash my hair every day you know for certain hairstyles of course you're not going to be washing your hair every day but if i want to wear my hair down yes i do condition and i do condition using that and then after i use my denman brush which is like really good for curls and i wait till my hair is like semi like a little bit more dry after the shower like not soaking wet but still a little damp you know and i take my denman brush i put on the shea moisture leave-in conditioner like i put it through my hair in sections and then I brush it through and then I scrunch with a cotton t-shirt because towels are not good for your hair, ladies. They're not, unless it's microfiber. So yeah, cotton t-shirt is the way to go. Okay, what inspired you to do YouTube? Okay, so I was really inspired by the creators that I've been watching and the content people I've been, you know, keeping up with on YouTube, mostly the women because 
all most majority of the people I watch are people of color and I know that makes no sense like to bring that up but it's inspiring because I know that I'm well diverse and I have like you know I'm obviously filled with different ethnicities or you know correct me if I'm wrong with the terms but like you y'all know what I'm saying and it, it's really inspiring to see people of color like really living it and doing what they got to do and getting that bag and I know that I could do it. So that's what inspired me, seeing other people successful. You feel me? So that was cool. Um, who gave me motivation to keep going? So who gave me motivation to keep going was like my boyfriend and like my brother um, and people in my life. They've always told me throughout, especially throughout high school, they're like, girl, you're so entertaining. Like you could really be like a YouTuber. Like I would watch you. Like you're so freaking funny. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's honestly it sucks because i i you know i vent to my boyfriend here and there and i get kind of sad and i'm like i just think to myself like do people even like want to hear about me do people really care about me like like not care about me but like do they really want to know about me in my life like sometimes i put a lot of doubt in the air and that's normal but yeah and he pushes me to do better and he tells me that yes like you're entertaining people want to see you like stop thinking like that so yeah um why did you start youtube i think i just started youtube because i thought it was really like it just looks so fun and it is it is fun despite me being very busy like i wanted to do something outside of my extracurriculars and my school like i just wanted to do something else and this was another way for me to go so yeah that's why i decided to start what's your favorite holiday christmas all the way you know we out here we out here we out here jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way that's my shit man no but for real i love hearing a little christmas music and y'all know mariah carey is getting her coin right now as soon as november hits she's getting her coin okay but do you miss school yes y'all know i'm a senior i miss school and it's not even about like i miss the in classroom stuff because that's of course a lot of people do the only time i miss like in person is especially is with math because it's a lot difficult a lot more difficult to learn through a screen but that's whatever um and i do take three P's, so am i dying yes i'm dying um but also i do miss in person school because you have an excuse to get really done up you know what i'm saying like you have an excuse to be productive and get outside and do something throughout the day even if it's just to learn and be with friends that's you know and i'm i'm a i'm chair captain this year and i really can't even do what i need to do as a captain the most productive way i can because it's through virtual um I miss stunting, I miss cheering at games, and it was sad because I probably won't ever have that experience ever again. Um, I might not even be able to go to prom now or graduate with a diploma like face-to-face -face or, you know, homecoming. Can't do that. Like, there's a lot of things that I'm missing out on as a senior, and it's really sad. So, yes, I do miss school. How do you, how do you feel about the pandemic still going on? It's annoying because we know that, like, if the people contributing to making this pandemic worse, sorry, my eyelid was itchy, are people who don't want to wear masks, people who are careless, um, things like that. And I've had my fair shares with people at my job already, you know, customers. Yeah, I like the masks. You don't even, like, really need them. They stand a third, and it's like, okay, sir, it's okay to not wear a mask. Like, it's just that's making the situation so much worse and getting new cases every day and it's terrible and i just want to go back to school i just want things to go back to the way they were except better because now we know not to take our time for granted and people are really selfish right now i've been you know for the majority of the time i've been staying home ever since quarantine and covid started like and for people to complain, talking about, oh, I miss the mall. Oh, I miss doing dishes. Mm -hmm. Bitch, shop online. If you don't like how the clothes fit, that's too damn Like, I don't know what to tell y'all. Like, I don't know why people are making this 
such a big deal and making excuses. But that's on y'all. And if you feel otherwise, I don't care. I really don't. I'm sorry. Okay. So, let's see. What is your favorite song right now? Also, I looked at my playlist. I'm sorry. It's because, like, I really haven't been listening to music lately. And I know y'all are like, girl, you're weird for that. But, um, my favorite song as of right now is probably, like, Out on Bail by, like, YG. Or, yeah, I feel like, because I, I really like that, like, ugh, like that. Like that shit. I, I don't know. Stuff like that hits to me. Like, it makes me feel like boom like i'm that bitch like i'm here so yeah i like that song so i don't bail my yg go listen to it um i'm looking through when is your birthday? Right day may 10th 2003 03 baby we out here may 10th what's your favorite color um lavender and pink are my favorite colors can you see okay um, how is working at McDonald's going so far? If I'm being completely honest, like, it's, it's cool. Like, you know, I'm doing it, you know, for the money and just so that I can feel like a sense of responsibility and like, um, independence, which is, you know, whatever. But it, it's pretty cool. Like, I got the hang of it and I've been working there for like, I think a month now and it's been okay like it's not bad it is what it is like you get your fair share with customers you know rude people but at the end of the day like it it's an all right you know job it's whatever so how are you guys sure you're supposed to be together okay you know that y'all supposed to be together and you know you you have that feeling of just like stability with the partner when like like everything feels right when you see them like your worries and what you got going on yes they're gonna be in your head yes they're gonna be there subconsciously but when you're with that person like a lot of that just goes right over your head you don't even think about it you're just having fun and you're you they're like your best friend like that's all i can say and if you're more of like the very lovey-dovey type of you know couple or whatever like that's cool that's not me and my boyfriend but we're more like you know we're more like like that's my dog like for real for real like that's really my best friend and we have fun all the time and you just feel comfortable and you could do anything around them without feeling like they're gonna you know think of you some type of way like that's that's how you know like you connect deeper than the top tier level you get me like you connect on a deeper level than you would with anyone else so that's how you know and let me see if there's one more question before i close out this video okay this is the last question what's the first thing i notice about when like you know when i'm looking like into like a guy's you know looking at a guy for the first time basically i don't know why i made that more complicated than it needs to be but for me it's teeth um like complexion I'll, I'll explain complexion right now just give me a second complexion and physique so when i'm talking teeth i'm talking about like no your teeth do not have to be perfect mine ain't perfect mm, uh, like mine ain't perfect uh, so i'm talking just like you know just you oh and hygiene so you're clean like you smell good you smell like you be knowing what you're doing in the shower you know what you're doing to keep clean um, your teeth are not, you know, like, they're just, like, you can tell you have well-maintenance going on, basically. Physique, when I say physique, I don't care, like, because my boyfriend's pretty skinny, like, he's pretty thin, like, and, but at the end of the day, he keeps, like, he makes sure he keeps in shape whether or not he's thin or whether or not a guy is, like, you know, regular weight or whatever, or, you know what I'm saying, like, they make sure they're doing what they need to do that doesn't mean eating healthy all the time no i'm just saying like he still works out or he makes sure he takes care of himself or when he knows he need to go to the gym he go to the gym you know so just taking care of yourself and then hygiene like like i was saying before like you really need to take care of yourself because i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna be nobody's mama talking about brush your hair wash your wash your ass um do this do that like no you need to know how to do things on your own by now so yeah all right guys well 
but that's the end of this video i hope y'all enjoyed it um but anyways yeah i really love you guys and thank you for everybody who sent me the questions it's been a long road because i'm still growing this channel and it's it's a process and i'm willing to get through it but i appreciate those who are supporting me and constantly you know being here for it and you know being active with me so i love y'all and be safe and i'll see you in the next video bye